Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to today's video. Today I wanted to get into makeup I can't get enough of and then let's see all this makeup that I just, I can't get enough of right now. This is gonna be like a, a chit chat, get ready with me because I haven't been on my channel in a while and you know, I'm just, I'm a mom, that happens. Like. You lose track of time. Today I'm going to be using the Mint Melt Cooling Face Primer. I like cleansed my face. I'm doing like a whole new skincare routine so it's beautiful and clean and fresh. This is by e.l.f. Cosmetics and they say it's a dupe for the Milk Makeup Primer. I've never used that one before but this one I have been using for like weeks now ever since I started like, you know, trying different makeup and just kind of experimenting with different things and so I started using this a couple weeks ago and I can't get enough of it because it's like this gripping primer and I feel like my foundation literally just like adheres to it and doesn't budge. It's so nice because it also gives like that super nice dry down too for your makeup and it's just it's so like refreshing. It smells really good. They do have this on the e.l.f. website. So this is an $8 primer. You can find it at some Walmarts, but it was like one of those limited edition things. So they've had it on their site for like a while now. So you can still buy it at least on the e.l.f. website. And it just creates this like really nice tacky base. It feels good. Like I swear my foundation like melts. It like melts into my skin when I use my foundation. It's so beautiful. And <laughs> speaking of foundation, so I have a Revlon Age Defying 3X foundation with a broad spectrum SPF 20. This is an 05 Fresh Ivory. It has a nice little pump on there. It's a glass bottle. It's a really nice like natural finishing foundation. Like it looks like skin and combined with this primer, I just found that it's like, it's so beautiful. I only take a little bit here just on my Urban Decay sponge, tap it onto my skin. And as you can see, like that primer, it like grips anything you put on your skin. Like, look at that. It just like grips. It doesn't move. But this foundation is super easy to work with. It looks like skin. It just kind of gives this like satin finish to it. And I love that it has SPF in it. SPF is always good for your skin. So this sponge I got from Urban Decay. I love it because it's got like a little fat end right here and then it has like this like pointed end so it's really easy to get into the crevices and just kind of pat everything out, especially concealer. Concealer, I have the Tarte Ultra Creamy Concealer. It's the Shape Tape version. Honestly, this one is so full coverage. But it's creamy and it doesn't look drying on my under eyes like at all. If you are a fan of the Creamy Shape Tape, actually the e.l.f. Camo Creamy Concealer is like an exact dupe for this. I just, I don't know. I've been in love with this one. I wanted to try it out and it turns out it's like an exact dupe for the e.l.f. one. And e.l.f. came out with theirs first, which is ironic. But e.l.f.'s original was a dupe for the original Tarte. So <laughs> who's copying who here? Who would like to see a full face of dupes, especially with some of the stuff that I have here from, from high end to drugstore, especially with like some of the stuff is like really good. So if you would like to see a full face of dupes, leave me a comment down below. I would love to know if you guys would be interested in that. I'm gonna use the All Nighter Setting Spray from Urban Decay. If you are not <laughs> new to my channel by any means, you know that I like to set my face in between powder and cream. It just kind of makes your makeup last longer, in my opinion. And I really love the All Nighter Setting Spray because I feel like it just really locks in everything. It's one of the best setting sprays that I've ever tried. I, I just love it, although I don't really like the scent, but I love the way it makes my face look. So before we move on to blush and bronzer, I'm gonna set my face. There's a couple of different powders that I just, I can't get enough of right now, and you can tell because like, you can see the rings on the packaging. So we have two powders here. One is from CoverGirl, and the other one is from Maybelline. Now CoverGirl is a cruelty-free option if you are into cruelty-free makeup. I usually try to steer that way, but sometimes I do try out other makeup products that aren't, because I need to be able to give you guys an honest review, but I will let you know when 
you know, it is or isn't cruelty free. The only other thing that really isn't cruelty free on the bucket list was just the Revlon foundation. So keep that in mind. But we have the CoverGirl Clean Powder 120 Creamy Natural. And you can see here, I have quite a bit of like, hopefully you guys can see that. There's a lot of ring on that. You can actually see the ring. I really hope you can see it anyway. And then I have the Fit Me. This is the actual pressed powder. It's the matte and poreless one. I love this one. And this one also has some divots in it. It's in shade 110 Porcelain. I found that this is like an excellent powder for specifically the under eyes, like if you want to set the under eyes. And then I have a, just a little velour puff that I like to use with it and I just kind of tap, 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 tap. And it really like smooths out the under eyes quite a bit and it doesn't texturize your under eyes at all, which I love. And then I just like to put it on my lid as well. And then I just tap, tap around my nose, set all that in there. Like look how like, smooth and finished my skin looks. It's flawless, beautiful, glowy, natural. Sometimes I'll go in with a CoverGirl Clean powder. I'll take a little powder brush, usually just a big fluffy one, dap into it a little bit, and then just kind of set the rest of the face. Now this one does smell like Noxzema, which is fine. That's, that's what I've been, you know, washing my face with lately. But it does have this like beautiful airbrush, like, flawless quality to it. It makes my skin just look beautifully ageless. I think that's the best term that I can use. It looks ageless. <laughs> I have a brush bronzer combination, one that I've like been loving lately. So here we have the Milani Silky Matte Bronzer in the shade 02 Sunkissed. I went a little bit darker on this one because I just wanted to warm up my face a little bit more. It is more of a cool tone and then I have the e.l.f. bronzing brush so it is like tapered and like I love this e.l.f. bronzing brush and I think I got it for like maybe three dollars when I picked up the Silky Matte Bronzing Powder and I love using this to warm up my face, get that bronzer like right into my hairline to the point where it doesn't look like I have like a line here. And then look at what the silky matte bronzer does. Like I'm like chiseled more, but it like blends out so beautifully, seamlessly. And it looks really like natural on my skin. I don't feel like I have any problems with this bronzer at all. I actually picked it up because Kelly Gooch had recommended it and it's in her like project pan if I remember right now or like her shop my stash or something but I was like super excited to pick this up <laughs> and quite honestly okay what's really funny is that this this product really reminds me of the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer even the way that it smells and I don't know how long this one has been out but I think it's been out for like a hot minute as long as like the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer is and that formula is like one of my favorites and now I found another one that's really good and actually this one's actually a lot more affordable than the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. The Butter Bronzer is like a $15 one whereas this one's like a $9 one depending on where you purchase it from. I also like that I can take this brush and I can just contour my nose a little bit so it looks like it sticks out but now I look kind of chiseled and my face has a little bit more warmth to it. I don't look so washed down and like decrepit. I can, well, my flawless skin looked really, I looked like a ghost. I really just, I don't wanna look like a ghost anymore. No. So good combination blush. I love the Sweet Cheeks blush from NYX. This is so good. I actually have another video up on my channel where I try it out. It's with the Angelica Neek Fix palette. I'll leave the video linked down below for you guys. But I also have this one. This is the LYS and it is so good. It is a creamy blush. Like look at that. It's pigmented. It's creamy. It glides on my skin so beautifully. I can't even like say anything bad about this bronzer. I think the only thing I don't like is how I have to apply it, which is with a brush. I mean, that happens anyway. Most of the time I, I apply my cream products with a blush. Usually I use, this is a Morphe M105. This one I just got in a BoxyCharm. I'm not like super picky about the blush brush that I use, but a little bit goes a long way. 
I absolutely love how this makes my skin look though because oh holy cow can you guys see that I might have put a little bit too much on but that's okay because it's easy to correct sometimes I don't realize like how much I put on there so I gotta be like super super careful like if this could be on my like top 10 blushes it would be I should make a list of that if you guys want to see that list let me know this one you can actually find at Sephora and it's like an $18 blush, which to me, Sephora is like that 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 beauty retailer who sells like all high-end makeup. $18 for a really good blush formula that's more like high-end. I think I think that's just gorgeous. So we're gonna take my I have like an angled brush. We're just gonna kind of buff this out because I went a little overboard. Like, I love that whole sun-kissed look that's been happening lately. <laughs> but that was a little bit intense there, Stacy. A little bit intense. One of the highlights that I just, I, I can't get enough of is the Jaclyn Hill one. They actually sell this on Ulta Beauty's website now. But this is, like, the original highlight that came in her quad highlights, like, a million years ago, I feel like. But it's the color Iced, and it has this, like, beautiful pink undertone to it almost like a champagne but it's super blinding and while it is super blinding I also say that with like a little bit of grace because you can build this up as well especially if you use like a lighter brush and you can make your skin look like it has this like natural glow to it which I really really like I mean obviously you can go in with like a super heavy hand you can make it look you know just a little bit more over the top but I kind of feel like that look is out and just that like sun-kissed glowy skin is like way back in and I think that this this highlight is probably one of the best ones that I have I love the color actually I take that back one of the best ones I do have is the pixie rage loves collab love that one but they don't sell it anymore so I don't use it on camera as much and so that one, it is still available at Ulta. It is one of my favorites. I just use it all the time. I like setting my face in between. It just makes your foundation last a hell of a lot longer. It makes your face last longer. Like I want makeup that's gonna last me till like the end of the night. I don't want it melting off my face like in the middle of the day. Okay, let's take a look at, it's a new palette like in the beauty world and it's also a new palette for me and I bought this one because I saw I didn't even see the reviews I actually saw um a color story and I was in love with it I saw it on trend mood and I don't usually spend a lot of money on eyeshadows unless they're like 100% on sale like you know they have some sort of discount to them just because like do I want to pay full price and mm, not <laughs> like I'm just so weird I love finding makeup on sale but this one I bought for full price, but I also got kind of like a couple of free like makeup things with it from Huda Beauty because I did buy it on her Huda Beauty site and I bought it when it launched and it is the new, it's the new Rose Quartz palette. This thing is incredible. I've actually posted some looks up on my Instagram channel, so go take a look at that Instagram channel. Who are we kidding? It's not a channel. So I've posted this up on my Instagram feed. I did like a whole video where you could see like a really good close-up of all these colors. There's some great duochromes in here. There's some really beautiful mattes. And I just love the entire like color story of this. I feel like it just, it's something out of the box and different. It may not look like it just from like how it looks like in pan. But I swear like when you actually swatch it, when you see it on your eyes, like it's just, it's something that a lot of, you know, makeup companies haven't really been coming out with lately. We've been asking for duochromes. We've been asking for multi-chromes. I feel like Huda delivered on every single level, but it's a wearable palette, and that is what makes it the best. Because it is a wearable palette, you're able to create really, like, everyday looks, but then you have those striking shadows in here that, like, you're, you're, everyday makeup lover will love and then somebody like me who who loves makeup who does YouTube who collects makeup palettes like I think she really just nailed it on the head with this palette so I'm just going to do a quick look we're dipping into this color here it's called cherished it's like a baby pink but I love it like all over my lid because it's actually when it's on the lid you can see here it's almost like an entire 
It almost like matches my skin tone perfectly. It brightens it up so nicely. It just evens everything out, makes it look really good. This is one of my favorite shades in the palette because it just is one of those like, you can set the whole lid with it, brighten your eye. Like look, it just does a little bit of something different to your eye. And there's a whole bunch of like cool tone purples in here, but there's also some like warmer tone shades in here as well, which is what makes it, oh, it's just so pretty. So now I'm using the color Radiate, and this is just gonna be my crease shade. This is like a taupe shade. I'm just gonna do something really quick, really simple, just to kind of show you guys like how this can like wow your brain. <laughs> wow your brain. That's a that's a new one. Right now I'm just using a wet and wild crease brush. These are like a dollar. <laughs> They're so good though. Like I just love the way it looks. Like this is the perfect crease shade if you don't want to do anything like over the top too dramatic. Like it just kind of gives your eye a little bit of something extra. And now I'm just going to go in with one of the more foily shades. One of my favorites is Aura, which is like this like goldeny shade here. It's hard to explain. And then it does have that weird like jelly consistency one, which I love to use as like a topper on like an eyeshadow topper. And it's really pretty because it just adds a little bit more depth. So I'm going to use, actually this one's called Energized, I'm sorry. But it's it's so metallic-y. Oh, it's so pretty, but it's like this everyday color. Like look how pretty that is. So we're just gonna put this like on the lid and then I'm gonna show you guys like what I like to do on the inner corner. But look how like it brightens my eye, adds some dimension, super creamy. I'm not wetting down my, like, I, I like the quality of Huda shadows are so incredible. I love that I can use my finger and I can just kind of like tap this on my eye. If I get a, a brush, it'll work with a brush as well, but I like using my finger better. Now, sometimes if I wanna add a little bit more dimension, I use Empowered, which is this purple color right here, and I'll just pop it on the outer corner. I like to keep that like metallic look going since it's like all over my face. But now we're gonna use a duochrome, like one of the duochromes that's in this palette. So I just have like a teeny tiny little brush. I like to wet it down because it actually just gives it more of that impactful look when you're using some of these duochromey shades. I absolutely, like, some of these are gorgeous. Like, this one here is beautiful. I love this one. This one's more like a smoky one. It reminds me a lot of the shade from the Raw Beauty Christie palette, except I think that this one in here is way better, and it does, like, a blue to silver shift. But I love doing something super light in, on the inside. So we're going to use this one. It does a pink to a purple to a white. So it's almost like a multi-chrome. And you'll see how it just like, with the brush wet, it just literally pops everywhere. Like look how much it brightened up my eye. It looks so pretty. I try doing like, um, it's not really a cut crease, but I don't like going above a certain part on my eye. Cause it just, it takes away from the rest of the makeup. So I like being as like precise as possible. I'm just going to right about here adding it in and then I love putting it underneath here and then I will brush away it does have fallout when you use a brush which that's one thing I don't like so just be mindful of that but it's really easy to clean it up so usually what I'll do is I'll take my sponge the side with the foundation on it I'll just kind of pat it away and it smooths everything out again and it gets rid of all that fallout. Now you could do like a shadow like underneath, but honestly today I don't think I really need it. You know, like it just, it just looks so beautiful the way it is. So if you have been on my channel before, then you know this hack, but if you haven't been on my channel before, this is a fantastic hack and I really hope that I can find my hairspray. So kind of looking around here, let me go find it. And <laughs> 
in it was in the bathroom because I think I was using it on my kids hair so <laughs> that's where it was so I have this I have this eyebrow hack and I like to do it before I put on my mascara so I will take my eyebrow pencil you know if I if I cleaned up my space more I could find things a hell of a lot easier if like I set it out that'd probably be a good idea like you guys would not believe how messy my entire filming space is right now yeah but anyway we're gonna take the spoolie side of my eyebrow pencil there's a lot of eyebrow pencils out there that are fantastic this is just an hourglass eyebrow pencil that I got from a boxy charm and what I do is I spray with my hairspray and then I literally just comb this through my eyebrows because I have very wonky eyebrows and it holds them in place. And the hairspray I'm using is the Pantene Pro-V Hairspray Extra Strong Hold that builds texture and it has a four on it out of five. And it, it does, it works. I actually use it sometimes when I wanna get my hair a little bit more curly and like crunched. So that is the hairspray I use. I don't like aerosols because they're, they use way too much product, whereas this one is more like you can direct it right at the spoolie. You don't have to use the spoolie on the eyebrow pencil. If you have an eyebrow spoolie, then that is fine as well. But I just use this one because it's so much easier. And literally, my brows do not move. Now, you... If you do want to fill in your eyebrows beforehand, then fill them in. That's what I suggest. And then you can comb them through and it like evens out everything. And I think that looks a hell of a lot better. Eyebrows, that's what I do. I don't really fill them in right now. I think when I comb them and I get the, the hairs to not look so wonky, that's when it looks the best. Now we're going to use some mascara. I actually have a little sample size. I don't remember how I got this, but I think it was in like a Sephora. I bought a couple of like skincare products from The Ordinary because they have the larger bottle of the hyaluronic acid. And like it was like, I think this is one of the free gifts that I got, but it is the Rare Beauty Mascara and like the tiniest sample size you have ever seen. But I love this mascara. And I'm pretty sure when I replace it... <laughs> <laughs> it's not going to be the mini. It's definitely going to be the full size one. But it's so like, so I only have one coat on right now. There's a couple people. I've been watching reviews on YouTube of this mascara and I actually saw a really, you know, a plethora of reviews. And some of them are like, it's not that good. And I looked at some of the, the, I looked at some of the reviews, I looked at some of the videos on Instagram from, you know, up and coming YouTubers and it accentuates the beauty of your natural lashes and it really just adds some dimension to them. Like it really just makes them look so long and full without it being like overly fake. Now lastly we have my lips and I have a couple of different combinations here. Um, I can't find it. Usually I'll put a lip liner on if I'm wearing like a really luscious liquid lip. I have a couple of Maybelline ones. I have a couple L'Oreal ones. They look really similar to the Pillow Talk, I think. I just, I need to do a comparison of it and see if it's actually a dupe. But the reason why I chose the colors that I did, especially for this and especially for you know, some of my lip liners was to see if they were dupes for the Charlotte Tilbury. Here we have my completed makeup look. I hope you guys like it and it's so like subtle but beautiful. And again, with that rose quartz palette, you can go super dramatic. You can create everyday makeup looks like this. You can go over the top with those duo chromes and that mascara paired with it. It just really makes my eyes like pop and look just like so natural and beautiful. All of this stuff like so affordable to use. A lot of drugstore, a couple of high-end, which is unusual for me because I don't use a lot of high-end makeup, but thought I'd throw it in there because they're just gorgeous. I hope you guys like this video. Leave me a couple comments down below. I want to know what you guys think of this, and if you guys want to see a dupes video on some of the things I was talking about, let me know. Like this video, subscribe to the channel to see more, and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye! Clover girl, curly, come on, clover girl, the clover girl. I'll go in with the.
when you're trying to get a product open and it won't open it drives me crazy <clears throat> So I have like a, a brush and bronzo combination, um, <laughs> bronzo.